One of my favorite triangles, the hip bump triangle combo. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. Uh, this is one of my favorite triangles. Uh, like a lot of people, I uh, found this triangle just from loving the sweep and then doing it as an organic combination. However, when I saw Ryan Hall, who has an amazing triangle instructional series that many of you may have watched, when I saw him actually do this, just not as a combination, but directly to get the triangle, it became a part of my arsenal those years ago, and it's something that I've worked with continually for both myself and my students ever since. Let's check this out, guys. This is super fun, which I think is important, and it's super high percentage. And if you're in my closed guard with posture, and there's 10 seconds left on my mat, I'm telling you right now, this is what I'm going for. So let's have a look at it, guys, because you're gonna love this one too. So I've got my partner here in my closed guard, so, I've got him in the closed guard, and if he's got posture, it's very hard to attack him with arm bars and triangles. But we can do a hip bump sweep like this, and take him over to mount. However, what we can actually do is a little hack. And we're, instead of grabbing his arm, we're going to grab his hand. Okay? So I'm going to let my feet go, and I grab his hand, and I post my hand behind me. Once I've done that, my hip is going to try to hit him over. Now, if he goes over, great. But I've broken a rule of sweeping. I broke the rule of not controlling a post. So, if Paul isn't just a beginner, when I go to do this, he'll post his hand on the mat. Okay? So, if we change angles here, you'll see that as I go to do this sweep, if this guy isn't a beginner, he's going to post his hand on the mat. And that's what I'm wanting. So as I sit up, I grab his head and put my hand behind me. I go for the sweep. As soon as he does that and his weight's on that hand, my left leg here is going to come up and hook onto his upper back with all of my weight. Now, this leg is free to move. So all of my weight's through my left calf. Now, he can't move his hand without falling to the mat. So I take my right leg out, wrap it over, and I'm here in a triangle position. Now I can hip up, move his hand across, grab my shin, adjust, lock, finish. Okay, so let's have a look at that again slow and then we'll speed it up because it's very fun. I'm here, I grab the head, I post back. I give him a hip up, he puts his hand down. My left leg will clamp on his upper back hard. That lets me balance and take my right leg out and close up this triangle. I can now move the arm across, grab the head and the shin, adjust, lock, end of story. Now let's speed it up. I'm here. Very hard to stop. One more time. Very hard to stop. Occasionally some of my students know that I love this move, so they'll just get swept over. And you know what? If you let me sweep you them out, I'll take that six point move and do a triangle from the top. So I really think this is very low risk. To me, I don't really see this one going wrong very much. Sometimes guys will counter, okay, this, and you might not get anything, but very rarely do you get past. So give this one a try. It's super fun. And some really cool guys like Ryan Hall have hit this at the highest level of competition multiple times. So, you know, check that out. He's a super awesome guy and certainly someone who inspired my love of this technique. Have fun with this one, guys. Coach Tom here, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.